Hey everyone, it's Anna. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. Happy July 1st. I cannot believe uh, we're already to July this year. And where did June go? <laughs> I feel like June just flew by. But um, I enjoyed seeing everybody's um, Sparkles in June projects. And I have one more to share with you tonight um, from my friend Gabby. So let me show that with you, share that with you. She sent me this beautiful card. Isn't that stunning? She's hand painted that bouquet of roses. So beautiful. And she's painted it on watercolor paper. And uh, in addition to the beautiful painting that she's done, she's also added glitter to each of the flowers. Can you see the spirals there? Sparkly, sparkly. I love it, Gabby. Uh, crafty is the new pretty. And I would have to agree. I love the black matte layer on this as well, and your watercoloring is just gorgeous. I love the white gel pen detail as well. Gorgeous, and it has a fun signature on the front too, and I love that detail. And then on the back, she's hand stamped it by, um, handmade by Gabby with an eye. And then she's left me a beautiful note inside. So thank you so much, Gabby. So this is probably the last entry for Sparkles in June. <laughs> And though it wasn't made by me, it is definitely worthy of being shared and uh, providing inspiration to you. So gorgeous. Thank you so much, Gabby. So speaking of July, let's move on to the hashtag for the month of July. And I'm excited about this one. And you might actually have noticed something um, <laughs> to give you a little hint. <laughs> we are doing, oh, not sparkles in June. We are doing blues in July. So many people do Christmas in July, um, so I didn't want to do Christmas in July or holidays in July. So we're going to go with blue, and a lot of people use blues for their uh, holiday cards or winter cards. So I thought this might be an easy way for people to incorporate um, the hashtag and um, provide us with lots of inspiration. So blues in July is our inspiration hashtag for the month, and I look forward to seeing all of your projects. All right. Um, so in addition to this beautiful card from Gabby, I also got a package in the mail today um, from a friend uh, who I think I shall let remain anonymous. Some of you will probably figure out who she is, but um, I'm going to open her card here. She's got it in this nice packet. Oh, cute. Just in time for the 4th of July. Look at that. That's a cute card with all these little... Uh, embellishments here that she's detailed. Uh, there's a paper doily in the background. This is the most adorable um, pink and red gingham paper in the back. And then some blue and white stars. I love it. And little blue bling. And there's even sparkles on everything. So cute. Here's the inside of this section. It's a trifold. So it's going to open up one more time. Oh. That's amazing. So cute. I love all the different papers you've used. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kat. I love this. The stars are all sparkly too. Ooh, that, those look like fireworks explosions. Cute as can be. And then on the back, she's uh, signed her name there. <laughs> so cute. I love this. Thank you so much, my dear. And then she also sent a little package here. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what she's got in here. This is a cute little like uh, bakery bag that she's used and um, folded over this really nice um, star paper. I'm definitely going to be reusing that. So let me see, I can see down here at the bottom that it's safe to cut the bottom so I don't destroy the top. Let's see, here we go. Oh, it's in plastic that got stapled to the topper. <laughs> All right, let me try this. Oh, this is adorable. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Oh, so cute. I love this. She hand carved or hand cut this out of foam. This is so cute. And I'm sure she probably designed um, the. Uh, shape as well so that the blue backing is behind both white stars sparkle and shine this is so cute look at these adorable little ribbons 
She's got a clothespin on the back. I like putting these on my refrigerator, so I'm gonna put a little magnet on the back here and so it'll stick to the refrigerator. This is so cute. Look at her little cheeks. <laughs> Absolutely darling. Thank you so, so very much. Oh, this is so cute and it was uh, fun to receive in the mail today. So thank you so much, my dear. Oh, you guys are so kind. Sweet and spoiled. So pretty, huh? Um, so the other thing that came today, um, actually yesterday, was my June <laughs> um, design team package for Impression Obsession. So I'm a little late getting my June projects done, but let's take a look and see what I'm going to be making some sample cards with. Even though we're done with June, I'm still going to be making some sample cards with these. Um, so this one is called Beach Chair, CS1124 Beach Chair. I love this image. It's like one of those little hammock chairs. There's a little beach umbrella, a beach bag, a ball, a hat, some sandals, and a little starfish there. Um, enjoy every moment and time to relax. I love that. And I love these little uh, four by four sets. They're nice and um, with a low price point and so cute. Uh, then I also requested, because um, with the design team, um, we can choose what products we want to use. So I never ex uh, request everything because I just don't have that kind of time in my life. But um, I definitely wanted to get this one. This one is called Seahorse and shells seahorse and shells and uh, it's cs1127 and i love this seahorse image here and these beautiful shells and then this set has a um, coordinating die that you can purchase as well um, to cut out all the little shapes so this is going to be super fun to play with isn't that fun i love that seahorse image and so there's the die set and that's sold separately and then the other one that I requested was um, this one here. This is CL132. Uh, it doesn't actually have a name on it, it just says Impression Obsession. Let's see if it's on the back. No, it's not on the back, but I'll leave a, um, I'll leave a note down below in the description box with the title of this one. And I, again, I just loved all these sea um, images and the little seahorse here. And there's like a little string of pearls. I thought that was a really fun image to have in there. There's a sea urchin and a sea star. Again, with the lighthouse, I love these sand dollars. And this is a crazy shell, isn't it? Beautiful. It's not from uh, northern waters. <laughs> nice. So I'm excited to play with that. And then I also requested um, this set. This is Take Me to the Sea. And I just loved all these cute little fishies. I love that whale. There's a uh, cute little shell here as well. Several shells, shells actually. And I love the little crab. <laughs> this fish is really cute as well. So this is gonna be a really fun set to play with. And this set also has a um, coordinating die that's available. <laughs> hey, 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 that's really loud. Um, has a coordinating uh, die set that's also available for purchase, uh, but these two items are sold separately. But uh, I thought that would be a really fun set to have. And then the last stamp set that I requested was this one here, and it's called More Basic Greetings, CL549. And I'll just hold it here if you'd like to pause it and read all those. So I thought this was a, just a really nice set uh, to um, kind of add generic. Uh, greetings and uh, so many times I don't really add uh, greetings to the front of my cards but with small sentiments like this um, it's a little bit easier so like this card with Gab that Gabby made little sentiments like this I think are fun to add and then the last thing I have to share with you is this um, impression obsession has started releasing six by six paper pads and this one is called by the sea and they're a uh, photo realism um, uh, paper pads and so the images in here are actual photographs and they're absolutely gorgeous beach photos. So these are going to be really fun to work into my paper crafting. Um, just all different kinds of various beaches. There are um, four of each of the designs and there's 12 different designs. So there's one photo on the front and then there's a different photo on the back and you, then you get two um, of all of these designs. So there's that image as well. I love this underwater one with all these great big um, sea urchins. <laughs> so cool. And then this is beautiful sunset here. Looks like this might be um, 
uh, in the San Francisco area, because I think that's the Golden Gate Bridge right there. Maybe. Um, I say maybe just because it's kind of hard to see. And then here's a beautiful sunset. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I love this one. I think this one might be my favorite. Great big pier. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yellow sand. Here's another underwater one. I love how the water looks here. Isn't that beautiful? And lots of coral. There's a setting sun in the middle. And this one is gorgeous as well. I love those purples in the sky like that. That'd be fun to watercolor. And then there's this one here with these uh, rushing waves. Gorgeous. Beautiful blue waters and blue sky. And then it repeats. So absolutely lovely paper pad. So I'm excited to have those. They're going to have them seasonally. So there will be, um, this is the summer one. There's a fall winter one and, um, or maybe a fall one and then a winter one. I think the, there's a fall and Halloween, um, paper pad and then there's a winter one that's separate. So, um, those are coming soon though. <laughs> this one is uh, already released. So, um, that's what I have to share with you. I'll actually be coming back, um, tomorrow because I have the July a limited edition kit to work with. It's um, sitting right here next to me. So um, these are going to be really fun images to share with you as well. Um, but I'm up um, on the the, um, the design team uh, that's sharing these stamps tomorrow. So I'll be back um, tomorrow to share this with you. So thank you so much to my dear friend for this adorable little foamy I love it. And again, I'm going to put a magnet on the back and put it on our refrigerator and it'll hold my little notes, grocery shopping notes. And for this beautiful 4th of July card that came so timely. And then Gabby, of course, thank you so much for your beautiful card. And uh, um, I just love getting all your cards, Gabby. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you guys have a um, safe weekend and spend some time doing something you love. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Bye.